Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss factors in our programming language. So factors are basically our objects and why they are actually used. They used for categorical data as a categorical data. For example, let's say in our table, we are having a uh, name, salary, address and uh, gender so in gender we are having let's say male and female so every person if we are having let's say 1000 records so every person will be either male or female so what r will do r will automatically encode this gender column into uh, two unique value so the one value will be male or another value will be female so it's provide a kind of encoding so I'm going to show you how it actually created. So in order to create factor, what we need, we need a vector. So first I'm going to create a vector and let's say I'm going to create a numeric vector. So here, as you can see, I have uh, six data. So when I will create a vector of this one, oh, sorry, I forgot to use. So when I'm creating a factor of uh, this data, so what we need to do, we just need to pass this vector in this function factor and it will return the factor. And what is the mean of, meaning of factor that each of this value will take only a unique value. Like uh, in this one, we are having six total data. But what this factor will do, it will see how many unique values are there. And in other term, this is also known as levels. So when we going to print this data, what it will do, it will see how many unique values are there. So it will find out that out of six, five of them are unique and this 23rd is repeated again. So levels, how many of them are unique. So this is actually a vector and uh, this is actually used for categorical data for modeling purpose. So whenever we need some uh, a limited number of value to be used in our application we need to go for factors thank you very much for watching